All right, viewer, imagine this. You're strolling through the misty forests of Japan, enjoying the serene beauty, the soft rustling of leaves, the distant call of birds, when suddenly, bam, you encounter the Sankai. Your heart skips a beat and you freeze in your tracks, wondering what on earth you've just stumbled upon. I can't wait to get started today, but before we begin, if you like this kind of content, please like the video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know if you have any suggestions for topics you want to see in a video in the comments below. Now let's dive in. What's a Sankai, you ask? Oh, buckle up, because this cryptid is something else. It's not your run-of-the-mill mythical creature. It's a bizarre blend of the unexpected and the downright strange. The Sankai is a mythical Japanese creature that's part baby, part demon, and all kinds of weird. Imagine the most peculiar creature you can think of, and then add a dash of the supernatural. Legend has it this little rascal emerges from a pregnant woman's belly button. Yes, you heard that right, belly button. It's like something out of a twisted fairy tale, where the ordinary becomes extraordinary in the most unexpected ways. Forget storks or cabbage patches, in Japan, it's all about the navel. This unique origin story sets the Sankai apart from other mythical beings, making it a fascinating subject of folklore. Historically, the Sankai has been described as having a monkey-like face, a snake-like body, and an overall vibe of, what in the world am I looking at? It's a creature that defies conventional descriptions, blending features in a way that's both intriguing and unsettling. Picture a creature that looks like it was designed by a committee of toddlers with a box of crayons. The result is a whimsical yet eerie being that captures the imagination. Now here's where it gets even weirder. The Sankai is said to be born with an insatiable hunger for, wait for it, umbilical cords. This bizarre dietary preference adds another layer of oddity to its already strange existence. Yep, they pop out and immediately start searching for their first meal. If you think that's gross, just imagine trying to explain that to your in-laws. Oh yes, our baby is doing great! Except for the part where it turns into a demon monkey and devours anything remotely cord-like. It's the kind of story that would leave anyone speechless. But hold on, it gets better. According to legend, if you can manage to capture a Sankai before it devours an umbilical cord, you can actually train it to be your loyal servant. This twist in the tale adds a touch of adventure and possibility. Imagine having your very own cryptid butler, a creature that's both bizarre and useful, ready to serve you in ways you never imagined. Sankai, fetch me my slippers. The idea of commanding such a strange being adds a humorous twist to the legend. Sankai, stop chewing on the power cords. Of course, having a Sankai as a servant might come with its own set of challenges, like keeping it away from anything cord-like. And let's not forget the Sankai's fantastic fashion sense. They're known to wear little hats and tiny cloaks. This quirky detail adds a touch of charm to their otherwise eerie appearance. That's right, folks, a cryptid with a wardrobe. It's like something out of a fantastical fashion show, where the models are as strange as they are stylish. Move over, Hollywood. The Sankai's fashion game is on point. With their unique style, they could easily steal the spotlight at any red carpet event. Now, before you start packing your bags for a cryptid hunting expedition, let me hit you with a reality check. The chances of actually encountering a Sankai are about as slim as finding a unicorn running a Starbucks. It's a fun thought, but not something you're likely to experience. But hey, the legend persists, and it's always fun to let the imagination run wild. Stories like these remind us of the rich tapestry of folklore that adds color to our world. So why does this cryptid exist? Some say it's a cautionary tale, a way to explain childbirth complications in ancient times. It's a reflection of how people use stories to make sense of the mysteries of life. Others believe it's just an elaborate way to keep kids from poking their belly buttons. It's a humorous yet effective way to instill a bit of caution in curious youngsters. Either way, the Sankai has slithered its way into the annals of Japanese folklore, leaving us all scratching our heads and chuckling at the absurdity. It's a testament to the creativity and imagination that folklore can inspire. I hope you enjoyed this bizarre journey into the world of the Sankai. It's a story that's as entertaining as it is strange, a perfect example of the wonders of folklore. Remember, Next time you're in the forest and hear a rustling in the bushes, it might just be your new, fashionable, cord-chewing cryptid butler. Keep your eyes and ears open, you never know what you might encounter. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more weird and wonderful tales. Catch you later.